Hi, Michael Fry, President and CEO of Deepwater Subsea. I want to talk to you briefly about our subsea management training program. I get a lot of questions from people saying, hey, what's this program all about? And what I want to do is just take two minutes and describe to you what you would learn by attending this program. This program is built on the fact that subsea engineers, subsea supervisors, in the field today do not get taught the business of subsea. They don't get taught to how to properly plan between well maintenance, how to fill out a budget, how to actually go about doing the administrative side of the business. And that's what we're gonna focus on in this course. What I'm gonna do is just tell you a little bit about what we're gonna discuss. If you know all these topics, fantastic. That means you're on the road to becoming a subject matter expert. If there's anything that we talk about that you're missing or you're lacking in your development, then this course is definitely for you. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is department administration. We're gonna talk about the rules and regulations that govern the business of subsea. If you're here in the Gulf of Mexico, that's the CFR, API. Do you know the rules and regulations that govern the business of what we do every day? We're gonna talk about operating procedures. Do you know how to write them? Do you know the best way to actually format them? Do you know what's required per API and BSI to have inside of your documentation? We're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about documentation and record keeping. What is it that you need to maintain? How long do you need to maintain it? And what information do you have to have inside your record keeping? When you fill out a test chart, what are you supposed to have? When you fill out your JSAs and your MLCs, what type of information are you required to have in each and every one of those documents? And how long do you maintain them for? We're gonna talk about reviewing the contract. Do you know how much time you have for a between well maintenance period? I always like to say the downtime is in the details. If you don't know how much time you're allotted per your contract, you might find out that as soon as the BOP hits the deck, you're already on downtime. What are you gonna do about it and how are you gonna plan your business to try to alleviate as much of that downtime as you can? We're gonna talk about predictive maintenance and preventive maintenance. How do you implement those into your tasks on a day-to-day -day basis when you're doing PMs and which one's actually the most effective way to reduce risk when it comes to the BOP? We're gonna talk about planning and executing an end of well work scope. We're actually gonna go through and build an end of well work scope using Microsoft Project. We're gonna talk about budgeting. Do you know how to build an annual budget? Do you know how to build a five-year budget? Do you know how to go and build even a rig move budget? This is something that we're going to cover. We're going to start from the basics work up all the way to the advanced. What we find out a lot of times is that the rigs and rig management just issue the budget to subsea guys. If you know how to build a budget for your department, what you'll find out is when it comes to doing your routine maintenance, you're going to have the critical spares that you need because you've budgeted for them. We're going to talk about asset management. We're going to talk about how do you go about building critical spares lists. I'm not talking about recommended spares that the OEMs give you. I'm talking about a critical spares list that you want to have on the shelf to make sure when you go into end of well work scope that you have everything you need to efficiently execute your plan. These are things that we're going to cover in this course. What's important about this course is there is no other course like this in the industry today. The reason we built it is because these topics that we're covering are things that I've seen in my career in technical field support that the guys offshore struggle the most. You guys know the equipment. You work on it every day. But the reality is as you've progressed in your career, you're now into a management level. And that is the reason why we at Deepwater Subsea have built the Subsea Management Training Program. We look forward to seeing you in the class. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me an email at mike at deepwatersubsea.com.